Hey guys, this is Jason with FPV Model and today we're going to talk about the Betaflight F4 flight controller and just give you a basic idea on how to wire things and get everything set up properly in the configurator. So let's just go ahead and get started on this. As you can see here, we're just looking at the bottom of the board and not much to change from Betaflight F3. Uh, you've just got your typical ESC power connections. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. I don't think anybody's really going to have any questions with this. So let's just go ahead and move over to the top of the board. As far as the top of the board goes, the number one thing that's probably going to stand out to most of you guys are the receive pads located next to the ground and motor pads. Uh, these pads are for newer style ESCs, the BL Heli 32 ESCs with telemetry output. Now if you have some of the BL Heli 32 ESCs and you're wanting telemetry, just double check with the particular version you have. Some of them do have option for a telemetry out output and some of them do not. Uh, the ones offhand are the Betaflight ESCs and also the Wraith 32 uh, ESCs. These I know for sure have the telemetry output option. Uh, some of the other ones such as DYS, uh, DYS and some of the cheaper versions I believe they do not have this option for telemetry output. So if you intend on using this feature you'll just want to double check with the manufacturer and make sure that yours are capable of doing so. All right, let's go ahead and talk about your receiver connection. As you can see here, SBUS, SUMD, and DSM2 are clearly labeled on the board. It all depends on what type of receiver you have. So determine which type you have and then connect to this board. But keep in mind, once you enter your Betaflight configurator, that this will not be UART2, UART3. It is going to be UART connection 6. So if you're currently trying to connect your board and you're having issues with the receiver connection, just keep in mind, uh, turn the serial connection on for UART 6. So now it's time for the fun part. Let's go ahead and talk about wiring up some of your accessories, starting with smart audio. So once you set up your VTX, let's go ahead and show you how to get smart audio working on this. All right, now if you recall earlier, I mentioned that BL Heli 32 ESCs run off of the receiver input for UART1. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna connect Smart Audio to TX1 on this UART1 connection and then we'll go into Betaflight Configurator and turn that over to Soft Serial. So essentially, uh, we'll kind of get two uses out of this particular location. Okay, now moving over to Smart Port Telemetry. Uh, we're going to go ahead and connect to TX3, actually UART3TX connection for smart port telemetry and then once again we'll also go back into Betaflight and switch that over to soft serial. Now Betaflight F4 is still using the MPU6000 which does not run at 32K so the soft serial connection for smart port audio will be fine with this but if you find that you're uh, just watching this video and you are using a different flight controller maybe something with a uh, maybe something with an ICM gyro that can do 32k uh, keep in mind that if you run at those speeds and you try to use soft serial for your smart port connection chances are high that it will not work out for you so if you're finding that you are having those issues go ahead and uh, do the inverter hack on your FR sky receivers you can find many videos on how to do that just by looking around on YouTube so let's go ahead and take a quick recap of what we've gone over before we wrap this video up. First, we've gone over BL Heli 32 ESC telemetry, followed by your receiver connection, smart port audio on TX1 while being configured as soft serial, smart port telemetry on TX3 while being configured as soft serial. All right, so there we have it, our most commonly asked how-to questions from our customers. So, I uh, hope this video helps, and if we haven't cleared up what you are looking for, don't hesitate to ask. So, thanks for watching, and stick around for tomorrow's video whenever we show you how to take all of this and set it up in the configurator properly.